Hello and welcome to TO Markets Price Action Analysis. I'm Jan Mutta, Chief Market Analyst for TO Markets. And today we have some bullish price action in gold. So let's go and see where the key levels are. But first of all, you might want to subscribe to the channel because we are hitting the targets constantly. Like yesterday, we had Euro USD hitting our target zone one and then the markets has kept on going higher from there. So those levels are very, very relevant. So it was a successful trade yesterday, but we don't provide any investment advice and you should only watch this video if you agree with this disclaimer. Okay, so this is gold into our time frame as usual. Now we are seeing this time a bullish channel breakout in gold. The market, as you, I'm sure you remember from the past videos, we focused on gold breaking support and trending lower in this channel. But yesterday I said that the gold is likely to range between supports and, and resistances based on some other market analysis. I don't I don't want to go there now. I just want to focus on, on gold um, at the moment and in the future. Most analysts tell you what happened yesterday and why it happened. We try to tell you what happens in the future. So that's a bit of a sort of um, challenge. And we sometimes, and obviously we never know what's happening in the future, but we sometimes, and uh, maybe more often than not, get it right. Now, what we are seeing, and this is based really on one principle, we are trying to focus on different markets and price action because the price tells you everything there is to know about a market. It tells you the collective opinion of all the traders together, whether they are institutional or retail, price action tells you what they are thinking. At the moment, they are thinking uh, we have bullish momentum in this market. It's a reversal taking place here. The market was trending lower earlier, but now it's making higher lows. It's broken outside of this uh, downward pointing channel that we had in place here. And now we are challenging the resistance levels and more likely to move higher than down. Obviously, the market could still move lower, but this is what the price action now is telling us. Um, we are looking for long trade signals above 1861.40 or so, basically above this low here. It's 1861. Uh, let's go and see what was exactly the low. 1860.84 was this low. So above this, we're looking to go long. If the price moves below this, then we'll have to wait until the price is again above 1861 and uh, this low here. So basically, uh, the, the target areas, <clears throat> excuse me, are here. The first one is um, from 1874.75 to 1879.30. And the second one, I'm going to give you the exact prices here. So 1889, say 15 for the argument's sake. and. Uh, sorry, from 1884.65 to 1889.15. So these levels coincide with a couple of technical factors. The first one being here with the first zone, we have 50 period uh, SMA here, and then we have 50% Fibonacci retracement level coinciding. And also with the second level, we have these highs that are of resistance because we used to have support here. Now, and also we have 78.6 Fibonacci retracement here. So I'm, I'm thinking these are likely zones for any intraday long trades in gold. So as you have seen in the past, things can change quickly if we have uh, news impacting the markets. And that's why you should always, always trade carefully. Always have stops, never over trade in terms of your trade size. And so, yeah. I think that's all I had for today and maybe you want to leave us a comment. I really enjoy reading your comments and I take some time to re reply to you as well. So thank you for your feedback. It's highly valuable and I really enjoy reading those. So trade safe. See you soon on the next video.